Welcome everyone. Thank you very much for coming in today. We're going to go through some sales, recent sales here in my store, printed and postcard related exclusively. There's a few to go through, so let's jump right in. This first one, uh, $33, really nice sale there, plus shipping. It's just an insert from an issue of Life Magazine from January of 1968. Great month, great year, by the way. And uh, th that one uh, was just part of a larger Life Magazine. It was a little thing you slip inside, and it was a preview for the new Fords coming in 68. 16 pages. I did have this item up months ago in a whatnot auction. It didn't sell. Oh well, sold for me for thirty-three dollars. You can see it's just essentially, you know, a, a little brochure about the new model year and the new vehicles that are available from Ford. So a great sale there. Second print ad, also an automobile ad. This one from back in nineteen twenty-eight, and it's from an issue of McCall's magazine. You can see right there, August of nineteen twenty-eight. It's a fourteen-inch by eleven-inch advertisement, and this looks like just a kind of a road trip sort of thing scenic overlook looks like winding around a mountain <laughs> a couple of flappers as we like to call them the 20s ladies great sale there 22 bucks plus shipping back to 1925 we go for the next print ad sale this is for morton salt um, touting the iodized version of supposedly saving saving children from goiter you can see mother and daughter there pretty simple ad this is from good housekeeping magazine from july of 1925 sold this one for twelve dollars and thirty seven cents it was a 25 percent off sale that i was running on my print ads this one from 1922 i'm almost positive in fact i'm pretty sure we listed this together on one of my listing shows which you can check out uh, either on mondays or fridays during the week over on the jiminy flip it youtube channel so please do join if you're enjoying this video and you'd like to check out some of the listing shows we have a lot of fun well anyway this one was listed together on a live listing show it did sell for 15 bucks also, by virtue of that 25% uh, off sale I was running a week or so ago, it's for a unique product. It's a portable oven, basically, Griswold Bolo oven. What it is and how it works, and there's the descriptor. That's the advertisement, black and white ad from back in the 20s, sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, and staying in the roaring 20s from 1923, now a 100-year-old advertisement, prophylactic hairbrushes, vintage print ad, 1650 plus shipping. There's an image, lady with beautiful hair. It's obviously an illustration, but it's basically just a brush, but very artistic, pretty looking ad. This is from McCall's Magazine. So they're all different magazines. You can see this is a big one, 16 inches tall, 11 inches wide from September of 1923. Did sell it for $16.50, full price, plus shipping. Here's one of my favorite, the World War II era ads. This is for Western Cartridge Company, supplier of bullets and whatnot for the boys overseas in 1943 also 1650 plus shipping and there's a blow up of this one you know obviously an action scene here and you can see western cartridge company unique product uh, wonderful time frame for vintage print ads people are, are really keen on these world war ii era ads this is from saturday evening post uh, you can see the date right there october 16th of 43 to 1964 we go a uh, buyer purchased the next two ads both of them for 1650 a piece this is from the 1964 world's fair beautiful image there on in manhattan i'm um, looking up fifth avenue i believe and it is a continent lincoln continental from 64 the magic skyway this is a very tiny you can see eight by five inch ad it came out of a magazine i bought a little while ago from an estate sale that had it was all about the 64 65 new york world's fair it's probably about 100 pages i got the whole magazine for five bucks at an estate sale and i've been just taking out all the ads within it so they've been selling pretty frequently the next one same thing 64 world's fair magic skyway another ford this is for the 500 xl attractive looking vehicle there red really nice color and both of these uh tiny relatively tiny ads eight by five inches so a combined, uh, what is that, 33 bucks or so, plus shipping on them. I combined shipping, of course, for all my customers, so they only pay the shipping on the one. So a great combo, 30-something dollars on two little pieces of paper. And now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to hit the postcard sales. This is one of my, uh, one of the ones that really make me happy. $25 on this RPPC from Oregon, <laughs> Columbia River, Viaduct Paddle Wheel Steamboat. There's a blow up of that one. Really nice looking card there. And there's the back love selling postcards folks absolutely love it 25 bucks on that one 
Another postcard sale, one of many of these World's Fair postcards I've been selling from either 3940 World's Fair in New York or the 6465 in New York. This one from 6465, an IBM pavilion card. I didn't see many of them out there. It's an artist concept prior to actually building the pavilion. This sold for $15. Speaking of World's Fair, let's go through a couple of them. Here's another one from 6465. It is for U.S. Royal Tires. Really interesting uh Right in the front they had it looks like a ferris wheel and it's in the shape of a tire it's a really nice looking thing i wish i could have seen this thing 80 foot high ferris wheel disguised as a giant tire very unique and very cool eight bucks on that one more world's fair action my beloved shea stadium home of the new york metropolitans from 64 to 08 i think was when they closed it for some ridiculous reason we won't get into that but that's shea stadium home of my first ball game in 1973 fond memories been there hundreds and hundreds of times huge Mets fans here let's go Mets eight bucks here's another postcard we absolutely listed together on a recent live listing show Christmas postcards I've been putting them up reluctantly because I got to get rid of them and I'm glad I did because this one took a best offer of 10 bucks little girl pushing a stroller even though Dawn Wright said it wasn't a stroller it was a pram I call them strollers whatever Dawn but this one did sell for 10 bucks nice looking image very happy all right, next up is this very nice postcard. It's of the Gingerbread Castle in Hamburg, New Jersey. I have two of these, and I have several other cards with that castle. Some of them are in color, some of them are in black and white. Sold this one for 10 bucks. Just a nice, unique gingerbread castle designed by Joseph Urban in Hamburg, New Jersey from the 40s. It was postmarked. Nice card there. Easy 10 bucks, and I still have another one to sell. And now we have a card from Chicagoland, Chicago, in Illinois. I have tons of these. This is a pretty common looking card. I think I've seen a bunch of them. The white border uh, image. Nine bucks on it, though. Thrilled to get $9 on this card. Union Stockyards, South Side, Chicago. But I'll take the nine bucks and run. From the Pocono Mountains up in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania postcard. It's from a golf course, and it's the Oak Grove House in East Strasburg. Not very far from me, within an hour or so of where we live right now. People like golf, vacation paradise. Thrilled with that sale, $12 on that postcard. Now a couple of Jersey Shore postcards. New Jersey has a very popular beachfront area. They call it the Shore, quote unquote, here. This one is from Atlantic City. It's uh, Hyman's Seafood, end of the boardwalk at the inlet. There's a blow up, just a seafood joint. Nice little image there. The Jersey Shore card. This is from Ocean City, New Jersey. A linen card from probably the 40s or so. 59th Street Fishing Pier. A couple of dames hanging out, looking at the uh, ocean. Boardwalk going. Nice sale there. 10 bucks on that one. And now staying with these Jersey Shore postcards. Uh, this one from Ocean Grove, New Jersey. Sold for $9. Boardwalk open all year. Seawater and all the baths. Look at this one. Nice, nice card. That's an older one, obviously postmark back in 1915 and then rounding out this video this one i was shocked at the price i got nine dollars a kind of nondescript very basic card i guess the moonlight maybe sold it in the sailboat but it's the sailboat image of a sailboat off of uh cape may new jersey a place i just played last night with my band by the way in cape may beautiful town and this one was postmarked in the 50s so relatively new in quotes uh, got nine dollars on it I appreciate you all checking out this video. Thank you very much. Again, if you haven't subscribed, if you're enjoying the content, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I'd love to have you aboard. Again, we do live shows all the time, Mondays and Fridays usually, during most of the year. Um, we do videos like this, showing what's sold stuff, lots of information about print ads, postcards, records, and anything else I can get my hands on and help others learn about thank you very much everybody if you enjoyed the video please consider uh, leaving a thumbs up subscribe again if you haven't i hope you have a wonderful day thank you very much for joining bye